Hello everyone. So we've got something a bit new and a bit exciting to test with Hammer today, which is the DJI M30, uh, which is like a kind of cross between a Mavic and an M300. So there we have the, uh, the controller. As you can see, the M30's got a large screen, which makes life a lot easier for when we're planning the missions. Um, fairly big aircraft. This is the M30T, so it's got the thermal camera on it as well. Um, so we'll be taking this out in the field shortly and giving it a flight test. So here we go, just getting the M30 out of the box. As you can see, she's a rather large piece of kit. And then we're gonna get her in the air. So it's the controller. So you can see the screen is a lot larger than previous DJI controllers. And here she is, in flight, ready to start the mission. So, M30 is connected, and what we've done is we've planned our mission directly on the controller. Uh, with the screen being rather large, it makes life a lot easier to plan. So, Here we go, open up our parameters. You can see there the M30 wide camera. Check all of these. Change that from meters to feet, because that's how I work. Change the altitude down to, we're gonna have that at about 85 feet. You can see there that's two batteries, 20 minutes. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna make the map slightly smaller so we can get it down to just one battery or one set of batteries because the M30 takes two batteries. So we'll bring that down in size. We'll check our parameters. Now we're down to 16 and a half minutes with one battery. I think we're ready to go. Making sure, doing some last minute checks. Here we are, pre flight checks. And we press fly, it's uploading to the drone. And there you can see the uh, onboard camera. It takes to the air, it starts its first waypoint. All the way over to start. And off she goes. So we've sped this up by eight times, uh, which will um, shorten the video somewhat. But she, uh, it was a, a fairly lengthy flight in the field. So we thought we'd speed the video up just for time's sake. As you can see there, the, uh, the blue camera icon is flashing, which means it's taking photos as it goes. So we'll just wait for it to finish its mapping run and then we shall move on to the processing. And we understand the M30 is not really a mapping drone, but we decided to conduct it just for the purpose of this test. And coming down to its final, its final run. And that is our mission complete with the M30. So now we're back in the office. As you can see, there is our mapping run with all of our photos. You can see the, uh, the photos below in the thumbnail format. Switch over to the 3D view. So you can see it in the 3D. It's, it's height from the ground. What we're gonna do is gonna process that into a 2D map. Press process. Now we, uh, we wait for it to be processed. You can see there it's been submitted. And what we'll do is we'll come back once that's been done. Okay, so now the processing has finished, we can open up our map. As you can see here, 
it, unfortunately it's not particularly interesting but you can see the M30 has mapped this section here and we have rendered it into 2D as you can see here so we can always flick between our 3D mapping view which looks a bit like that or our 2D map and again the same as before without the 2D you can obviously click any one of these which will bring up the correct photo and of course as per standard you can annotate the images and put on their path because that is a path you can also share the pro share the project and report on the project so there you go that is a complete walkthrough for the m30 end to end from getting it out of the box to planning on site to coming back and processing our imagery so i hope you've liked our video if you've liked it give it give us a like if you've got any comments drop a comment in the comments box below and if you have any questions you can always contact us on team at hammermissions.com and uh, thanks very much for watching see you again